My name is Sean Wilkinson and I'm a postdoctoral researcher in bioinformatics at Victoria University of Wellington, New Zealand. I've been working with World Fish to develop an online data exploration tool for small-scale fisheries in Timor-Leste. We aim to create an automated digital pipeline to process landings records collected by a team of shore-based observers, including cleaning, filtering and databasing, and presenting the aggregated data in real time with a practical graphical user interface. We also wanted to use freely available tools such as Kobo Toolbox, Google APIs and R Shiny to demonstrate that this kind of thing can be achieved at minimal cost using modern digital technologies that are available to the scientific community. The tool also needed to be readily scalable to cater for the expanding scope of small-scale fisheries management worldwide. The automated pipeline works by querying the observer landings database at regular intervals using a cron job set up on a Google virtual machine, which runs an R script to create a table of geospatially referenced species and size records with fissure, gear and habitat information. This is then fed into an R shiny web application that enables users to apply various filters and create useful tables and graphs that can be used for informing management decisions. One of the most difficult challenges we faced in developing this tool was how to ensure the quality of the data being fed into the pipeline, as the garbage in garbage out expression certainly applies in this situation. We spent a lot of time refining the questionnaire and developing a comprehensive series of filters to pick up common data entry errors, but were often surprised by new mistakes that slipped through the net and that were difficult to detect and almost impossible to predict. These can be anything from 10 metre long sardines to tuna caught in crab traps and even some fish caught on land. So a takeaway lesson for us is that each component of the pipeline, particularly the input form, needs to be as explicit as possible, leaving as little room for interpretation as possible. And also, that the system needs to be flexible and easily adapted during the ongoing development process and according to the changing needs of the end user.